Hey guys, this is Effective Kill for a, I suppose, a little different video. The basis is, uh, I basically logged into Xbox Live this morning just for a quick checkup of stuff. And I saw I got a message from a person named Palazor. I don't message this guy angrily or anything because of my comments. But this is going to go about the Call of Duty series. He sent me a message just basically saying, message to all friends, so it wasn't related to my video. Explaining me why the multiplayer for the Call of Duty series sucks. Now that's a great point on mine. I believe the multiplayer for Call of Duty is boring and the same. The basis of, let's see, no innovation. Nothing new, nothing different. You can't say innovation is weapons or maps or game modes. Has Call of Duty even made a new game mode? There's no one there to tell me, but you guys can tell me. It's boring to me. To the other people, masses, it's not. They have the same format that allows them to sell the game. I praise that. They're smart enough that they've got the demographic that'll buy their game over and over again. They don't have the demographic that's starved for a good story. The basis, that's the only reason I bought Black Ops. I played some of the multiplayer, but I'm like, this is terrible. They've not gotten rid of the annoying thing. The annoying thing, in my opinion, is the NoobTuber. The grenade launcher. It's a really annoying tactic to me, and to several others that I've heard, is that it's a noobish tactic. It's just firing a grenade and randomly killing someone. They haven't gotten rid of that, even though there's probably been a larger number of people that want that tactic destroyed. Um, they haven't tried any, as I said, they haven't tried anything new. Nothing innovative, which I can't really think of stuff you could innovate for a video game, but let's try a more engaging story the story for black ops was okay because i liked it because it was conspiracy based it didn't follow like a fake history like the basis of modern warfare 2 kind of pissed me off of how they bit shepherd out that he was just an angry psychotic general just bent on destroying russia completely i know that's kind of realistic with the american view our country is psychotically about killing others but the basis is it's a boring tactic it tries nothing new to do, nothing to create um, anything interesting, which is the basis of what I've been saying. I'm rambling the same stuff over and over again. If you're still watching this, I, I applaud you for that, but it's, it's nothing is new about this game. The maps, I suppose, are new, and some of the weapons are new, which changes up the tactics of the game. But the same tactic is go kill this guy, do this, go do this objective. What if they did something, like, more interesting? What if they added a different effect? Like, um, I know they have the kill streak, which is a pretty good thing for a first-person shooter, but I prefer the battlefield. The battlefield basis is the map changes as you fight through it, and that's a great innovation that Call of Duty should adopt. They should have the map changing. The basis is basically, basically, <laughs> is that, um, the maps never change. The maps stay the same. Every match, it's the same map. It never changes. I'd like the maps to change around so that campers cannot sit in the same spot and kill me as soon as I spawn. That's another thing that pisses me off. There should be at least a five second, in my opinion, a five second invincibility. Via the fact that you cannot be killed immediately as you spawn. I know they're trying to go realistic, but that's the thing that works with Halo, which I believe has that. I've been playing a little bit of Reach. Not that much, I mean... <laughs> Shining off of video games a little much due to the basis of summer school with an art course, which I will not explain in detail, but that's my basic argument. I'll probably expand on this in the future, but that's mostly all I can think about is there's no innovation. Nothing new, nothing different. The campaign's for the same boring structure. If you've ever played the Borderland or the, um, the Bulletstorm Call of Duty parody thing, like, when you fire the gun, it's boring. It's boring to just keep killing the same enemies over and over again. The AI does not do anything to challenge you. Like, for example, take the game, uh, take an old game Swap 4, where the enemy placements change. How about every time you die, the enemy placement starts to change around? So you, keep, so you have to keep constantly getting new strategy. Map changing, that basic thing. Give that a letter to all the developers over at Call of Duty, but hope you enjoyed this video. I, if you want, I can do more in-depth look at, um, games, uh, give me a topic, I'll look in depth, I'm a very environmental, little bit of gameplay, but heavy story based gamer, I love the Alan Wake series, I'm loving the Alice Madness Return series, uh, the Halo series had a very good campaign, Dragon Age, L.A. Noir, all these games are some of my examples in some of my library 
a very small game library. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, um, and thanks for watching this video.